to another video. I'm so super excited to bring this one to you today because I've wanted to do an Eat This Not That video for quite some time, but I, I don't know why, I just haven't done it. I think I've maybe been intimidated. It seems like a lot to take on with all the different meals to make, but you know, the other day I decided, get over it, Tia. This will probably be a pretty helpful video and I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm gonna to be taking some really popular vegan dishes that are pretty high in calories and I'm gonna be showing you how you can make them just as delicious but with more nutrition and less calories. Now, if you're new here, hi, my name is Tia. I love to share with you on this channel how you can live a whole foods plant-based lifestyle really easily, get healthy and shed any unhealthy body fat that you have been trying to get rid of. I would love if you subscribe to this channel. I post a video every Monday, so make sure if you're interested, you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. All right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty here. I am so excited to show you how you can take some of these popular um, or maybe your favorite vegan meals or snacks and make them healthier, make them full of more nutrition and less calories. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna get up and we're gonna go ahead and do it. So let's start with everyone's favorite, a smoothie bowl. Now, smoothies and smoothie bowls, they can be so healthy for us and they can be beneficial during weight loss. You just have to make sure you're not packing in the calories here. And unfortunately, when we're looking on social media and we're following all these influencers eating these smoothie bowls, they are full of calories. So right now i am making one that would be a typical you know influencer quote unquote bowl this one is not nearly as full of calories as most of them are but we are putting in two bananas a cup of strawberries one tablespoon of peanut butter and two dates and i'm going to go ahead and blend that up and then scoop it in the bowl and then we are going to put our toppings on for this one, I am putting on, you know, granola, cause that's what everybody puts on top of their smoothie bowl, right? So we're putting granola, I'm putting a tablespoon of ground flaxseed, half of one banana, and some strawberries. And again, this isn't quite as full of the amount of calories you see on Instagram. Now, we're gonna make one that is less calorically dense. Again, we're just doing two bananas. I'm doing one cup of frozen strawberries. Instead of peanut butter, I'm doing one tablespoon of PB2, no dates, and then just a splash of milk. We're gonna blend that up, put that in our bowl. It's just as delicious, you guys. Now, instead of the granola, dun da 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 I am putting delicious bran flakes. You guys, they're just as crispy. They are more nutritious than granola, more fiber. So we're gonna put that on the smoothie bowl, but get this, the calories are way less than granola, like more than half of the calories you'll find in granola. So use bran flakes if you want. We're putting half a banana and then some strawberries and that's it. Let's check out the difference between these two. You got the that bowl with 855 calories and then this bowl with 445 calories. Next we have baked potatoes. You guys, potatoes can be so good for us as long as we're not putting all this crazy fat on top of them. Now let's bake two russet potatoes the way most people do. They put a tablespoon of oil on there, they rub it around, put a little salt, and then pop them in the oven. After they come out the oven, we're putting a tablespoon of vegan sour cream on each of them. Then we're gonna top them with some vegan cheese. Let's do a little bit of a uh, little bake uns, little vegan fake bacon bits. And there you go, we got our two baked potatoes. Now, how I make my baked potato is I do not use oil. I put them in the oven and bake them, and then when they come out, I mush them up, and then I'm going to top them with something so delicious, just as delicious as the other stuff, but way less K 
calories and this is a whole plant food. What we're putting on top is my yummy lentil marinara. Now, if you don't have this recipe, I'll link it in the description box. It's so easy to make. It's literally just marinara, veggies, lentils, of course, and then a little veggie broth. You cook it for 15 minutes, done. You can put this on anything, but man, is it good on top of potatoes. Because this is so low in calories, we can add more food to the plate. So here I'm adding a salad and I'm topping it with veggies and I'm gonna put dressing on it. And you guys, the two potatoes with the dressing doesn't even come close to the amount of calories that you'll find in the other potatoes we made, the typical vegan baked potato. Let's check out the difference. So we have the that potato with 736 calories. Then we have this with 454 calories. Look at all that food. All right, snack time. Let's do a pretty popular snack, popcorn. Now on this left-hand side in this bowl, I am putting 300 calories of a very popular, low calorie vegan popcorn you can buy at the store. Now if I was doing um, a, a regular vegan popcorn at the store that wasn't low calorie, this bowl would probably be smaller, but this is 300 calories. Now I'm going to be switching these bowls up because I am popping just regular old popcorn kernels, no oil, no added junk. Look at how much we can have for the same amount of calories, the same amount of 300 calories. That's not to say, you know, I'm not gonna be adding anything to flavor this up, but check it out. Look at the differences here. When you're not adding crap to your popcorn, you can have so much more. To flavor mine, I love to take my hands and wet them a little bit and kind of rub it, rub the water all over the popcorn just to kind of make it sticky. I'm not making it sopping wet. It's just, just a tiny little bit of dampness. I love to throw it all in a bigger bowl, actually, that works out better. Um, and just again, kind of rub the water all over the popcorn. And then I put a little salt and I love to add nutritional yeast to this. It gives it such a great cheesy flavor and adds a lot more nutrition. So let's check out the differences here. Look at this. Look at how much more you eat for 300 calories. And check out all the other macros. Quite the difference. All right, who's ready for some pizza? Raise your hand. <laughs> Pizza is so yummy. Now this right here is a frozen vegan pizza, um, a veggie lover that you can just pop in the oven and once the timer goes off, take it out, cut yourself some and serve it up. Now this one is delicious, I should add, but it is very high in calories. So what we're gonna do is after I slice this up, I'm gonna show you how I make pizza that is just as good more nutrition and way less calories. And the way that I do that is I go ahead and I love this pizza crust I found from Whole Foods. It's a thin crust, just like the store-bought pizza. It's super low in calories. But one thing to note, if you cannot find this crust from Whole Foods, you can you know, just try to find a whole wheat pizza crust or a gluten-free pizza crust that's vegan that is no fat to really hardly any fat and you're good to go. I know Engine 2 um, sells uh, amazing pizza crust that I buy all the time. You can get that from their website. I believe it's plantstrong.com. So just, you know, again, if you can't find this exact pizza crust, it's gonna be okay. Just find one similar. Now, I am just taking oil-free pizza sauce. If you can't find oil-free pizza sauce, there is definitely fat-free or oil-free marinara's at the store. And I am just putting this all over the pizza. Next, I am just gonna put some of my favorite veggies that I love to put on pizza. You can put anything you want. I love to put broccoli because it just adds a lot more fiber and just, you know, it makes me extra full whenever I eat broccoli. So I love to put broccoli. I love to put bell peppers on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some black olives because I just feel like, I don't know, pizzas need olives. So it's out the oven and I bake that just whatever the direction said on the pizza crust, I did it for that amount of time, but it's so good, but this isn't it. We're gonna, oh yeah, put my hungry vegan mama cheese sauce on top because I just feel like 
Most pizzas need cheese, right? And this sauce, holy cow, if you don't have it, I'm linking it in the description box, it takes this pizza over the edge. But let's compare the two. We have the VAT pizza for 1,240 calories, the store-bought one. Then we have my homemade pizza for 410 calories. Like, the whole thing, y'all. Okay, I mean, no week is complete without a taco night, right? So let's do for the last one, we are going to have tacos. I just bought regular vegan store-bought taco shells and I'm stuffing them with a plant-based meat alternative. And then we're just gonna add some toppings. I am putting on vegan sour cream and a little bit of avocado. And don't judge by the order I'm doing this in. <laughs> then a little spinach and some vegan cheese. And then we have ourselves some delicious tacos. But let's do this a healthier way. I am taking three tortillas. Now these are from Fiesta. These are oil-free. It's literally just lime, water, and corn. I love to pop these in the oven and make them crispy, so that's what I did. And I'm just gonna go ahead and top these with some lettuce. And then instead of a meat alternative, we're gonna do a whole plant food, black beans. I'm also going to be putting a little bit of avocado on top. And then I did find some tomatoes, <laughs> so I went ahead and threw those on here. And then of course we're topping with my low-fat delicious cheese sauce again. Ugh, and oh man, these tacos are so delicious, so crunchy, and super healthy for you. So let's go ahead and compare the difference of the two. We have the VAT tacos with 680 calories, or we have the homemade tacos coming in at 344 calories. I'll eat these any day. Okay, what did you think? Leave a comment below and let me know like, if you were surprised at how you can really transform these dishes into healthier ones with less calories. I know that when I saw a couple of these videos done before, um, I was just kind of mind blown at how you can really do that. You can still enjoy some of your favorite dishes and just put healthier ingredients in there or ingredients with less calories. It is possible. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You know I love that. You know that helps this channel. As always, I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you have a fabulous week and I will be seeing you next Monday. I'm gonna go eat one of these meals. Okay, bye. Do you see this cute paint splattered bra? Oh my God, let me show you these pants. Look how cute these are. <laughs> I know this probably isn't the best view. If you saw my thumbnail, you could see like the whole outfit, but I am so obsessed with um, leggings right now. I just, so cute, such cute outfits.